In today's video, we're doing a really pretty festive look. So stay tuned if you wanna see the transformation. <laughs> it's Becky and welcome back to Vlogmas 2022. We're getting further and further into the month. Not many videos left to go um, but today we're doing a festive makeup look. Um, everything I'm using you don't probably like need the exact same thing um, so you could probably follow this along with products you already own at home. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave me a little comment down below. Uh, what makeup do you like to wear on Christmas Day? Uh, do you wear any makeup? For me, I don't tend to wear any makeup on Christmas Day, but I do like uh, to put a face on for like a Christmas party um, and like New Year's Eve and stuff like that. So that's what we're doing today uh very excited i have prepped and primed my skin already with my moisturizer currently using the charlotte tilbury magic cream and the ula hendrickson banana bright eye cream um so yeah at the moment use a nice thick moisturizer and then for headband this was a christmas gift from han she knows how much i love these ones so uh this is from her so it's been absolutely bloody freezing in the uk um who can i put a complaint into it's been so so cold uh first up i am using the, the my go-to it's the nyx uh, the brow glue it's a clear brow gel recently got my brows uh retinted so don't need too much color on them um i personally like to keep my brows i've got very thick brows but they're very like they're that platinum blonde in real life i mean real life when they're not tinted uh, i don't have to do a lot to my brows because i do this i get them waxed and tinted every month so just a clear brow gel for me is enough i like to keep my brows quite bushy and natural i don't need to fill them in too much i don't fill them in like there are a couple of areas that i could do but i just can't be bothered with it i can't be bothered with it um so obviously you do your brows how you think best suits you uh, but this is just what i literally do every single day so this makeup look of course we are doing a red lip it's the only time of year when i wear a red lipstick um and i sometimes feel like it's quite hard to uh work out what to pair with a red lipstick it's such a bold moment um that you know what do you pair with it so i'm doing a really simple bright eye um i'm trying to find my trying to find my eye shadow primer here it is sticking right out um this has been discontinued i'm just using up the ones that i have um I've heard that Oldie, LD, however you say it, has got a dupe for the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Um, we've got an Oldie opening up really soon around the corner. Um, so really excited for that when it opens. And there's apparently another one that's gonna be opening. They're trying to get planning permission for it. So that's two new ones. Uh, so that's gonna be amazing when it opens because I really want to um, use and try some of their like beauty dupes. Uh, but the, the Oldie's near nearest me are ages away i don't go to them very often and when i do go to them it seems like all the kind of uh dupe buys and stuff they're all sold out uh, i know they're incredibly popular one thing i've not done i picked this up with trina um when we went to london i love this i use this every day uh, so we are doing a matte lip so this is basically like a liquid lip balm uh it is slightly minty slightly plumping i do think this would be really nice with a lip liner underneath however i have just been using it um like a lip balm just before i do my like my makeup i pop that on the mango smells really like fruity and juicy we love it uh trina also got the same one i did also pick up a set of three um it's uh it's like neapolitan so one's chocolate vanilla and then there's like a strawberry flavor one they're really nice i really like them if you like if 
you like lip balms you'll like them but i'm not a lip balm girly um but i love them so i feel like if you want to be someone that likes lip balm but you've never got into it they could be a really great kind of <laughs> gateway <laughs> um really really like them they're just easy and they smell nice and they feel amazing and they look good too they're just ticking all the boxes um so i'm just setting that eyeshadow uh primer i do like to set eyeshadow primer just because otherwise i think stuff sticks to the base too quickly so for the eyeshadow look i'm using a couple of made by mario products um i'm using the all matte eyeshadow palette I still haven't taken this off but i use this an awful lot it has been sold out for a while now oh just so you know i do have a sephora discount code so um if you are planning on picking anything up for yourself or for anyone else uh you can use my discount code and get some money off so i'll pop that on the screen now honestly it's so gassed to just have a sephora discount code uh you get made by mario on sephora that's what reminded me um but this has been sold out for a while when it does come back in stock highly recommend it is it's just an essential uh, however 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 uh you could just use your bronzer for this we're not going to be going in um we're just going into one color into our crease um so you could use your bronzer um as well uh, but obviously you probably have a light matte like brown transition shade already but this is an excellent buy now this what we're putting on the lid is going to be the hardest thing to dupe this is the master crystal reflector again from mario if you've got any charlotte tilbury quads with that special shade you know the one that's kind of like glitter like pack, it's kind of really hard to describe that could be similar um if you've got any ColourPop shadows it might be similar but this is very very unique um but again you don't have to obviously follow this tutorial to a t so obviously just a nice light shimmer shadow as well will work but it will be a different effect this is one of the most unique products out there um it's basically like glitters can you see that there's no base i think it's silicone that these glitters are like suspended in it's like diamonds look at that or if you have the fenty um is it the diamond bomb how many carats diamond bomb if you have this i think it's the most similar oh my god this is impossible to open most similar to it yes very similar so oh gosh hard to show you they are slightly different the mario one is way more glittery uh, whereas this has definitely a bit of pigment in the base they are both different but if you have this um it's very very similar so ooh, we're gonna do something very very light quite ethereal on the eyes just because the red lip is so bold that's what we're going for um i still need to wash my brushes um i have been planning on doing them for a while but just life just got so busy with vlogmas so if i have god this is awful but we're if i'm honest we're all the same um, don't i don't want any judgment for how long it takes me to wash my brushes because you know you're probably sat there with some dirty makeup brushes as well i'll wash them in january <laughs> i know i know i know i know um, I'm just going to go in with this shade here uh, on a big fluffy tapered brush that's my preferred brush and we're just going to go straight into the crease again we're just making a little bit of a shadow really so it's not completely flat just a little bit of definition of course you can um, deepen this up if you would like to um, but again you're going for a red statement lip so you don't want anything that's going to be too too um they always say you know do eyes or do lips i am definitely more of an eyes person i love doing like um metallics and um some quite bold and not quite deep looks on my eyes um <clears throat> and then i just normally go for a nude lippy uh, but we're doing a red lippy today i'm very excited to show the red lipstick again though 
obviously I imagine you have a red lipstick in your collection already so feel free to use all the stuff you have already don't feel like you need to go out and and I want to say that because sometimes I feel like you know on YouTube we're always like oh this is amazing this is amazing but you probably do have a lot of this stuff already some people like me I just like buying and trying new makeup that's part that's part of the fun for me um but obviously that's not for everyone and some people like doing the makeup looks rather than testing products if you know what I mean so yeah just do a little simple that's all that's all we're doing with the mattes we're not doing any deepening now they say with this it's best to use your finger however the last time i used it with my finger i didn't really like it was too much um i couldn't control where it was going so i'm gonna try it with the brush first it does pick up fine with a brush i do scrape as well i'm not precious with my shadows uh, i am just gonna bring my mirror closer um and i'm not actually gonna oh my god it literally looks like diamonds ah it's so beautiful i don't know how well you're going to be able to see that this is definitely something that looks a lot more impressive in person but it's just reflecting the light like crazy um, they do this uh, master reflector in three different shades. However, it seems that they're all pretty similar and you don't really need more than one. So if they don't have this one, this one's quartz, I believe. Yeah, quartz. If they don't have quartz, one of the other shades uh, should do a very, very similar job. But wow absolutely stunning and that's all we're doing for the eyes folks we're not gonna go crazy um mainly just you know just keeping it really simple on the eyes um but that looks so so pretty uh so then up next we're going on to the face a glowy primer uh it's winter we're dry we don't need any more mattifying of course if you are if you want if you're an oily girl, use an oil, you know, use a, a mattifying primer. But I'm dry and I'm using a shiny primer, shiny primer, dewy, whatever you want to call it, brightening youth glow primer. Uh, this is my favourite, it's a Charlotte Tilbury. I will be buying a new one when I run out. But obviously, use what you have, use what you have. And yeah, we just want the skin to look nice and plump and glowing and not dry and crusty no dry crusty skin here i think i actually need a little bit more because i am dry it is the season we're putting our heating on and we're just getting really dry oh god is everyone else just been so depressed about how much the gas is costing i'm trying to be um as stingy as possible but I'm still spending five or six quid a day for my small two bedroom house. <sighs> Dear me. Um, so that's on. Then, have I got my, I haven't got my NARS out. I haven't got my NARS out. This, this I use every day of my life. Um, it is the NARS uh soft matte complete concealer i always think you need two different especially if you don't wear foundation um i don't wear foundation because i wear my glasses and i to be honest don't want to toot my own horn uh but i do have quite good skin apart from my hormonal chin region um so i don't see feel the need to put foundation on uh and because i wear glasses it just used to cake up and it it was horrible it didn't look nice and feel nice um so i just wear concealer however i have a two concealer situation this i use for spots and blemishes uh, because it's matte it means if there is a raised spot or whatever the light doesn't reflect it so much so it's it's less obvious and kind, kind of helps disguise it as well as this being incredibly incredibly full coverage um so i feel like you need a matte full coverage um and i do like the fact that it's in a pot uh for spots and then i prefer a, a hydrating more luminous uh more lightweight for under the eye i don't think you could find a concealer that does both 
um and i highly recommend this one if you are in the market um but like you know those kind of concealer sticks that you can get at the drugstore those are what i thought i find really good for blemishes i've been getting quite a few recently oh i think it's a change in the weather so i just sort my blemishes out first and uh I almost let the concealer dry a little bit. So when I blend it in, it doesn't all just disappear off the blemish. So as you can see, it's pretty good coverage, but I am obviously gonna put some of my regular concealer here just to cover the redness in my chin as well. So I kind of do two concealers on my chin. Uh, today I'm using the Pat McGrath Labs. Uh, I do quite like this concealer. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime in L1, the lightest shade. Um, and I do the dot, dot, and boop, dot. And this has really helped me not get too much uh, concealer under my eye. I used to put far too much. Um, and I used to wonder why it looks so cakey. I'm still, I'm still trying to find, kind of figure out what the best, um, I still get creasing. I don't think that's ever going to stop though. Um, I've got, this is a relatively new BD sponge. <laughs> I'm so bad at doing cleaning brushes, guys. I also don't wet them because I don't like the finish a wet beauty blender gives me. The camera's probably going to rubble because I'm bashing smashing this into my face. <laughs> One thing I need to get is a new exfoliator. Um, I love the Huda Glowish. Is it called Yo Scrub or something? I really, really like that. Um, it's like an enzyme scrub. So I need to get my hands on that today when I nip into town. Uh, then I'm going to set. I need to finish this up. I've opened the new one and I'm like, girl, what am I I've, got, I've still got some in here. So we're using up our product. I'm scraping the sides with one of these poofs, one of these triangle poofs, everyone's shilling on uh, TikTok. <laughs> and then I'm just going under the eye, just trying to pat the creases out as well as I go in. But at the end of the day, the lines are there. They ain't going anywhere. They're only gonna get worse. <laughs> so there we go, we've got a nice blank slate situation. Now, bronzer, I'm gonna recommend you go maybe with the lightest bronzer you have in your collection. Again, we're in the winter now. And realistically, uh, you're not getting too much sun unless you're going on holiday all the time. Uh, this is a Dior one. This is the lightest bronzer I own and I think I've ever found. This is in fair bronze. It's incredibly fair. It still gives you some warmth and definition, but you're not going to look like, you know, you've just come back from south of France. Um, you know, we're not going for a bronze goddess look today. We're going for a festive i do feel like festive looks always remind me of kind of like 1950s like hollywood glamour i do think on the eyes you could also do a cat uh you know a cat liner a winged eyeliner um and that could look cute but if i'm honest i used to wear eyeliner a lot i have stopped it's stressful it takes so much time and sometimes i think was that worth it was that worth it um, but I do think it, it a black eyeliner, winged eyeliner, does really complement um, a red lip really well. And I think it would look really nice with this eye look too. Um, but that is the bronzer, just doing the cheekbones and the temples. Um, I'm not much of a contourer either, guys. Um, but obviously, you do what you like to do for your face shape. Um, and obviously, if you want to wear a darker bronzer, you totally can totally can that's not going back in the part i've got bloody bronzer everywhere now the thing i always struggle with the most is what blush to pair with a red lipstick uh because you don't want a red blush <laughs> um and then pink pink or peachy uh it's, it's just difficult because it the red is so contrasting so i do tend to find like a nude blush works really really well um so the one that i'm chosen to try today is so natural from mac it's a glow play brush it's cream uh, cream to powder this is one of my favorite blushes and um i'm just thinking it's just 
the red lip is the statement you don't want anything to be competing because that's when you start looking and uh, don't take this the wrong way anyone that likes to wear pink blush with red lipstick does start to look a little bit clownish in my eyes especially on me being so fair um so that's why i'm going for this more like neutral um and i think as well if you've got a more orange leaning red or blue leaning red you're kind of going to be you're going to be okay for either um so yeah i'm just getting a bit more of a denser brush because this is a a cream cream to powder it's really really pretty and it's just a bit more like neutral and glowy i also think this shade is really flattering for any of my red haired gals but obviously feel free to use whatever blushes you want but this is just my personal preference when wearing a red now highlight is christmas of course you're going to wear some highlight uh my favorite it's been for a while now is this jacqueline cosmetics in ice um it's just so nice i'd go for something maybe you know a bit gob champagne-y um but it's just the time of year to wear it it's so pretty um and with all the christmas lights and stuff just be really super like reflective and pretty lovely pop a little bit on the nose obviously highlight where you like i've stopped highlighting my top lip uh just because i have a mustache and i don't really like highlighting my mustache um, and i won't wax it i've never waxed it i've not touched my upper lip hair and I don't plan on doing it because it, it is really blonde. It's very light hair. I'm really lucky for that. Um, so I just don't touch it because once you've started, and uh, I'm so sensitive, like getting my brows done that really, it makes me like tear up. Um, so upper lip, it's a no for me. Uh, I'm just going to go in the inner corners because, you know, it's Christmas. Um, and I think I might even do the brow, the brow bone because it's Christmas. And again, we're going very light and ethereal um, on the eyes. And I do like to kind of join up the brow bone with the che cheek. Just looks so pretty. Um, and this highlighter is gorgeous. But obviously, just use uh, whatever you have in your collection. But the eyes just looks wet, glistening, dewy, beautiful, stunning. Um, then... I like to set all of this before I put my mascara or lipstick on. You don't really need to set mascara and putting something wet onto already wet mascara is going to mean it's just going to take longer to dry. So I like to set my face now and I feel like that's a good tip. Uh, and also you don't need to set when you like your lipstick either, like that's either going to set or not set depending on the formula. So I like to set my makeup now. Um, This is my third bottle of the NYX Dewy Finish. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a great, great makeup setting mist um, without making you look too matte. But again, use what you want to use. Personally for me though, I do like a more dewy finish due to the cold weather. We're now gonna do mascara. I do think we, uh, some false eyelashes would look nice with this. Probably something like a, a wispy lash. I'm not doing lashes today, guys. I don't have the time nor the energy. I just, I think makeup, when it's not enjoyable, don't do it. I don't enjoy putting lashes on. So why would I put lashes on? <laughs> I love doing everything else, but I don't like doing lashes. And I just don't, if you don't like doing it, don't do it. If you don't like doing eyeshadow, don't do it. You know, um, if you want, if you like doing eyeshadow, but you feel like your skill's not there yet, just keep practicing and watching YouTube videos. Um, but if you don't like doing it, don't do it. You know, it's just makeup. Um, I just love, I just love doing my makeup and I love trying new products. Um, and just, I just love all the different finishes and the looks. And I like pairing makeup looks with my outfits. I love doing kind of like a monochrome moment, like matching matching the lipstick to the, the dress or the top or whatever i have i now don't put mascara on my bottom lashes um i have been getting really wa watery eyes as i've been getting um older <laughs> and i just think uh it just you don't get any like 
black almost like I've been crying sometimes <laughs> um so yeah we're not gonna do that today I actually do quite like this Mac Stack mascara when I first got it I was a bit dubious um but I've actually really liked it because I opened a new I started using this Nabla one it's a bit rubbish a bit rubbish so I went back to my stack even though it's quite old now <laughs> maybe I'll get a new one for Christmas who knows uh but it is really really nice right so that is the look and of course you could do this look and still put a nude lipstick on and you'll still look stunning um it will just look really like glowy pretty festive and also if you've got a very out there bold dress or you know outfit or whatever this is going to ooh, this is going to look nice without competing um if you do a nude lip so this could be a really great look if uh you have a really bold outfit to go with but we are all about the red lipstick today so of course it has to be valentino i have been really really getting into valentino beauty recently i'm going to do a video in january about i've got a lot well not, i've got a lot, a lot of their products but i do have quite a bit of their range um I'm really liking a lot of it so i really want to do a video in the new year about that so do subscribe uh so you can stay notified of when that goes live um i'm gonna take my lip balm off so we're all nicely moisturized um i would suggest taking the lip bar any lip balm off before doing a matte um just because i feel like it's going to take away from the matteness um, and of course we are going to line uh, some of my favorite lip liners are mac but morphe um very very similar to mac they're wooden um they're about i think they're about six quid where mac is probably 20 uh but i don't have a red in a morphe uh but i've got this uh mac cherry liner which is a, a blue toned red similar to the lipstick that i'm going to wear so i'm going to quickly line my lips so I've just lined my lips really quickly. Uh, lip liner can be used for like lots of different things. Uh, the reason why we're using lip liner today is just so we don't get any bleeding um, and will just help keep the lipstick where it needs to be. Obviously red, normally the pigment, the color does tend to stain. So if it starts bleeding outside of the lip line, it is potentially going to stay there <laughs> even if you wipe it off uh, so the lip liner is kind of like a barrier and it's also just going to help you um you know define the shape you want with a more defined tip before going in with an obviously bigger stick um also if you do have lined lips um i do think that lip liners will also really really help with with bleeding as i said so we're going in this is i haven't used this yet yet but this is the like official valentino red lipstick it's absolutely beautiful the matte formula from valentino is one of my favorite lipstick formulas ever and i do feel like you can tell the difference between them and other other lipsticks um so if you are wanting something to put on your christmas list last minute um or maybe you want to see if there's any in the boxing day sales or spend some christmas money after christmas this could be something really nice to treat yourself to i will say as well if you buy through valentino beauty rather than i think selfridges have the exclusivity at the moment you get a lot of samples um but if you do go to the counter they're incredibly generous with samples i bought one item and ended up coming home with a mini mascara a mini lipstick and a mini perfume <laughs> so you get a lot of samples of valentino beauty so uh, just putting that out there so there we go this lipstick oh, it's like butter um, i will say though these do stain um so just bear that in mind um but obviously use whatever red lipstick you have your favorite one or whatever but that's the finished look i'm going to quickly do my hair and come back so guys this is the final look i think it looks so cute with this little christmas dress i've got on from yours um but yeah let me know what you thought of it down below will you be trying this makeup look at some point during the christmas period i just feel so pretty and like 
fresh and festive and super cute i just clipped back my hair i think it's a nice i think it's personally like just having my hair down can be really hot in the winter when people have got their heating on and stuff so i do think like pinning your hair back rather than a ponytail looks nicer like a bit more less casual if you're going to a party so yeah this is the final look i hope you enjoyed this video um don't forget to subscribe like and of course leave me a little comment down below and i will see you very soon aka tomorrow uh, for another vlogmas video don't forget to check out the playlist as well um if you fancy catching up on any that you've missed and yeah see you soon bye